So I have a Mossberg 590, right? Which works fine, like I'm talking about loading, as that's the topic of today's video. And then I got this uh, Turkish M4, basically Charles Daly uh, shotgun. And I was having issues, you know, load, loading this. Um, and they don't, they don't tell you this, you know, very clearly, but there are certain steps which can definitely make it easier to load this because there's a bunch of buttons here, like this one and this one. And of course your safety is over here. But these two buttons, sometimes what I find is that I could not move, move the carrier back, you know, all the way. And so I went back, I went back to basics. And now I just want to show you what these guys are saying here. Because, you know, it, it's always, you always can learn something new, even if you thought you knew everything. And so we're just going to follow instructions and load the shotgun uh, specifically based on instructions. So push on, push in the carrier on the bottom of the receiver and make sure there's no cartridges in the magazine tube. And that's what they're talking about. So I look there. Okay, I can see the red, red um, ring, which means that there's no cartridges. But actually, sometimes you cannot push this in. So it has. They're saying that the the, uh, the gun has to be cocked, and to cock it, you have to move it back and forth like the um, this thing. But but now it's open. Okay, so that's the first thing you check for cartridges in the magazine. Step number two. Press the carrier latch and pull the bolt rearward, locking into rear position. And that's the that's the carrier latch. So you have to latch this in order to lock it in the rear position. And this allows you to inspect uh, the barrel to make sure there's nothing in the barrel. And so step three is visually inspect chamber for no cartridge. Then press the bolt release button. This one. Press the bolt release button. Okay. So now the gun is supposedly ready to be loaded. Begin loading the shotgun from the bottom by pushing by pushing cartridge through the carrier and into magazine tube until it's retained by the magazine release button shell stop three four five and that's it All right so now we have five five in the tube okay Continue loading cartridges until desired amount is reached, 5 maximum. Press the carrier latch, press the carrier latch, then pull the release bolt. This will feed a cartridge into the chamber. Again, it's this one. So that loaded, I saw a cartridge went in. So now we have one more, we have a space for one more. You see, and that's it. So now we have five here and one in the chamber. And that's how you're supposed to load it. So let me just say carrier latch, right? That's the carrier latch. Is, uh... <sighs> sorry for the bright light. Uh, put a finger through. Yeah, carry a latch. They're talking about this one. Carry a latch. And the bolt release. Yeah, so that's this one. Carry a latch and pull the bolt rearward. Okay, visual inspect the chamber. Bolt release. So, yeah, so this is carry a latch over here. And this is the bolt release. So now we have the gun is fully loaded. But it's all in safety. We're in safe, uh, safe um, uh, environment, and so now we can just go unload this. And unloading, we have to use this again.
one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Nothing there. And the chamber is empty. And then we click this to close it, and that's it. So now the gun is the gun is safe. And that's how you load and unload a child's daily uh, semi-automatic 12-gauge shotgun.